Ahoy mates, Julie here, and welcome to Friday's episode of The Voters TV. First up today, we take a look at winterizing your boat in our ship shape segment. Well, it's that time of year again when many boaters unfortunately have to think about putting their boats away for the winter. I received a question from a viewer in Chicago the other day asking what must be done to winterize a boat. For that, I consulted one of my favorite resources for boating maintenance and care advice, and that's BoatUS's website. Check it out at BoatUS.com. For boats that are going to be stored ashore on trailers or racks, here are five tips that BoatUS lists among the basics. Number one, top off your fuel tanks. If the tanks are full, water can't appear and corrode the tank's interior, but do provide room for the gas to expand. Boat US also recommends adding stabilizer to keep the gasoline from losing its kick. Number two, say goodbye to your bimini or dodger. Boat US tells us that insurance files are filled with reports of bent aluminum frames because owners mistakenly figured their biminis could support a week's worth of snow. And, uh, Snow weighs more than the sun. Number three, take the drain plug out, especially if your boat is outside on a trailer. Rainwater and melted snow can collect on the floor and bilge, freeze up, and then result in cracks. Number four, remove the removables. Take your battery inside and if possible, store it on a slab of wood, as cold concrete on a garage floor can be the same as leaving it outside on the boat. Also, take registration information inside and if your electronics can be removed, Go for it. Number five, and some good safety advice here, inspect the inspectables. This is an ideal time to take a look at expiration dates of flares and your first aid and medical supplies, as well as to check the charging status of the fire extinguisher. Better now than next season when the Coast Guard pulls up alongside you requesting an inspection. These tips came from the article, Putting It Away, Winterizing Steps You Need to Take from Boat US's Trailering Magazine. Find it at BoatUS.com forward slash Trailer Club forward slash Winterize dot ASP, where they also deliver great tips for how to both winterize your engine and prepare your trailer that we'll go over in future episodes. Meanwhile, visit BoatUS.com to read more. And finally today, in smooth sailing, if you're more of a do-it-yourself kind of sailor, instead of buying a new boat, perhaps you'd be more interested in uh, building one. I recently stumbled across a wonderful video series on YouTube from a boat builder who has decided to use video to share his experience designing, building, launching, and sailing a 54-foot customized catamaran. He's edited the experience into seven easily digestible videos, and he calls the series How to Build Your Own Yacht. In the intro, we meet the builder, Matt, and he tells us the inspiration behind the vessel named Sky Rose. Skyros is the owner, designer, and uh, and my daughter. She's, uh, this is her boat, actually. I'm building it for her. It's the only thing I know how to do, so <laughs> there it is. The boat's been uh, designed by me in three different programs. Three, uh, one hydrostatic, one aerodynamic, and one AutoCAD 2000, where we put it all together. He then takes us from the design to the build stage in the warehouse in part one. This is the longest of all the videos at 6 minutes 36 seconds and is where we see the bulk of the work being done. A lot can be learned from watching this. And when it's finally flat, we prime it with a red epoxy and we inspect it. And when it's flat, we turn it over and we do the other side. The next few hours, what we're going to do is clear this area, bring the floor in of the accommodation pod, which has all been double laminated in honeycomb, painted, fixed up, and we're going to plonk it in position on the floor here. Then we're going to present the two bulkheads plus the third bulkhead, which is over there against the office. In part two, Matt and his team move his yacht to the marina, one hole at a time, in order to assemble it. Notice the Burj Al Arab Hotel there in the background of the pic. Yeah, Matt's building his boat in Dubai. Once in the marina, they begin assembling the boat by loading the beams on and joining the two holes together. And then they primer so she's ready to paint. On to part three, where Matt launches his now-assembled Sky Rose at Dubai International Marine Club and even shows us a snippet of the ceremonial champagne christening as the boat 
sets out to sail. In the fourth video, it's mast time. Rotates at the base on a 80 millimeter solid stainless steel ball joint. And by part five, we're sailing. The final three videos, five, six, and seven, are much more about the entire building experience and Matt's reflection on his journey. He includes his plans for using the boat, commentary by a couple of the team members that assisted him in the project, and some very touching footage of the entire reason Matt decided to pursue the project in the first place. And that's for his daughter, Sky Rose. To see the entire series, you can visit their YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash J-N-A Davidson. Meanwhile, that's a wrap on today's episode of The Boaters TV. We'll see you back here on Monday, and until then, safe and happy boating weekend to you all. Take care. This episode of The Boaters TV has been brought to you by the word jib, which is the foremost sail on a sailboat, a triangular shaped foresail forward of the foremast.